I can remember when I did Open Gowanus Open Studios for the first time. Um, I remember, you know, how nervous I was, and I remember how I kind of felt underprepared. But in actuality, like everything that I've ever done, like I utilized all the tools that I had. I remember when I first started, like I didn't really know any of the artists, I didn't know any of the community. I was kind of like a newbie. Some artists who like to create while people are coming into the studio, for me, I think it's great because it gets to show people like what your skills are. But I think for me, what I saw was like it was cutting off a connection with the potential collector. So I like to always like just talk and just, you know, um, like create a dialogue and connection with the person that's coming into the studio because you never know who's actually coming into your studio. It could be a collector, it could be a curator, it could be a gallery owner, like you never know who's coming in. So you always kind of want, my intentions are always to make that person feel special. Like when they walk out of that door, like they remember me or they remember the way I made them feel. What ways are there to make transactions with you? I, I accept it all. Like you can zell me, you can, I can take, I have a, I normally use like a square reader because um, a lot of people like to pay through credit cards. So I, was, I have like a square reader. Um, I will say, if you're doing a square reader, remember to get the signature. I, wa I once sold a piece and the collector purchased it. I was so excited, freaked out in my head, and I forgot to have them sign it. And if they don't sign it, it automatically voids out the transaction. So they left with the piece. I didn't get their contact information, so I had no way of contacting the new collector, the only way I was able to find them where they were gracious enough to post them hanging the piece in their home. And that's how I found them. Like I do Zelle, I do Cash App, I do PayPal, I do Venmo. Any way that the person wants to pay me, I accept it, like I'm prepared for it. So this spot here is where you put your most important? My main wall, yeah. So I have like the main wall, um, and then I have like, uh, well I normally would keep like things that I'm working on close to my desk. Um, because I was also told like, you know, collectors like to see kind of like what you're working on, like your sketches or something like that. So I have an area where I normally keep like, well, these are the things that I'm working on so they can just kind of see. And I was also kind of taught that collectors like to be a part of the journey. So I may have a piece that I'm like working on, like it's not done, but they're basically being invested with it as I'm producing it. And then once it's done, it's like, they've already made up their mind, like what I want to purchase this piece, you know? And then once it's done, it's like, I want it because they've been on this journey with me creating it and they've been attached to it, you know? 